<laughs> Mr Deputy Speaker, members of this House may remember that three years ago I had to take a leave of absence from this role because I have PTSD. Oh. And I can tell you that the insinuation that mental health conditions are not debilitating, that they don't affect your ability to go about your daily life or to go to work, that they don't incur additional costs, could not be further from the truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Prime Minister's comments about so-called sick note culture and the changes that the government is proposing will do nothing to help people with mental illnesses. It will just make their lives harder. So I ask, why is the government setting back the clock on the acceptance of mental illness as a disability instead of truly tackling the crisis in mental health support? Yeah, yeah. Secretary of State. Well, I'm afraid I don't... I'm at pains to say this, Mr Deputy Speaker, because at every point that I've come to the dispatch box this afternoon, I think I've made it extremely clear that serious mental health conditions are very real. I take them very seriously. I think everyone in this House, I think, I say to the Honourable Lady, and this is where I say we need a, a grown-up conversation. This, this is important. This is really important. We need, a, we need a proper conversation about this, because if at every stage, whenever a minister suggests that we need to look at a particular area, that their motives get impugned in the way that the Honourable Lady has by inferring that what I'm actually saying is that mental health conditions you know, should be trivialised in any way. I am most Absolutely. definitely not saying yeah. that. Click here for Sunak and swimming pools.